Columbia Public Schools will soon have a new leader. A forum with the three finalists for CPS superintendent just wrapped up in the last hour or so. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch was there and he's live now at the administration building. And Connor, a big theme of many of the responses were inclusion and equality. And Deb Lucas, all three candidates sat here before the Board of Education tonight answering a wide range of questions submitted by the public. And a big theme was moving forward, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. And each was asked about how they would contribute to innovation. Dr. Chase Ramey, the chief operating officer for the Iowa City Community School District, said now is the time for change. One of the biggest failures we'll have coming out of this pandemic is if we try to revert back to how education was pre-pandemic in the fall of 2019. And so we are ripe for advancement and ripe for innovation. Dr. Eric Pruitt, the deputy chief of high schools for Chicago Public Schools, said it's important to allow each school leader to lead. You allow them to build their team and give them the resources to identify what their school community needs in order to serve their students at the highest level. Dr. Harold Brian Yearwood is the chief operations officer for the Maynard Independent School District in Texas. He said innovation requires equity. Regardless of whether you're a student of color, regardless of your ethnic or socioeconomic background, you must have exposure to innovation. Another big topic was how they would each address race and racism after 2020 highlighted issues across the country. I will ensure that there is a safety net where they can be respectful, where there can be courageous conversations. It's not enough to try to use a one size fits all approach because there will be pockets with inside our community that have specific things that are of um, at the forefront. We have to get to a point based on building relationships where we're comfortable with this discomfort if it's going to benefit our students. The current superintendent, Peter Stiepelman, will finish out the school year, and one of those three candidates will take his place starting in July. Now, the board hopes to make this decision by the end of this month. Reporting live in Columbia, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News.